Welcome everyone to a brand new video, a brand new year. Thank you so much for choosing my channel to inform yourself with what's going on around the world. Let's begin with today's topics. January 3rd marks a year since the life of General Soleimani was ended in a cowardly way. The Pentagon will wait for, is waiting for revenge. And all these dates that I'm going to mention are important for the rest of the year. What happens during this year, this, these dates will mark the rest of the year. So let's continue. The U.S. Department is on high alert. This has caused the United States government to order the withdrawal of U.S. S. Nimitz aircraft carrier and the missiles frigates on in the Oman Sea, such as those found in the Ormuz stretch. This is because of the fear that Iran military will take retaliatory action to the assassination of the General Soleimani. This maximum alert also includes all members of the different military bases in the Middle East. A few days ago, on January 2nd, 2021, the government of Iran sent the United Nations Organization a letter with Iranian politicians to be delivered to Mr. Antonio Gutierrez, Secretary General of the United Nations. Due to the actions taken by the government of the United States in the Uman Sea and the stretch of Hormuz. The letter that the politicians carry re reads the following. The U.S. government has carried, all, uh, has carried out all kinds of actions and mobilizations of different ships and naval forces in the region, looking for a provocative move to bring Iran into a confrontation. As I said, that, okay, end of quote, as I said, in other videos, Donald Trump does not want to leave the White House, hmm? but through an act of war, he may seek to remain president. The United States has many military bases in the Middle East, which does not mean that they are all well received. This past year, they were heavily targeted by different militias in pro-Iran, trying to get uh, get the U.S. out of this area. The United States is well regarded in Saudi Arabia, Iran, some may say in Oman or in Georgia, Georgia, Jordan, in the rest of the Middle East, they are not well regarded. Iran and the U.S. have a covert war. They might not say it out loud, but they actually have a war. They have a war going on against each other. Let's talk now about January 5th. Is essential for the whole planet. On this day, Georgia will decide two congressmen will be defined for the U.S. Senate. From here will come either two Republicans or two Democrats. With these two congressmen, a party will win the majority hmm, to the political party, one of the political parties. It, okay. Let's say, let's say it this way. If the Republicans win, this will make the job more difficult for Biden. To any, any bill, any idea that, they may, that he may want to pass through the Senate will be blocked. And, will make, and if Donald Trump remains president, it will make his job easier because they will have uh, the majority. So every bill, he, his, every idea he comes up with, will be passed. This is important for the U.S. elections. Georgia will define who gets the majority uh, in the U.S. elections. Hmm? But there's something else that is very important, not just to the, U to, the U to the United States, but also to Venezuela. The new National Assembly of Venezuela will begin its possession. They are all select. They were all selected this past December 6, twenty twenty. This new assembly is majority Chavista, which puts Juan Guaido in a lot of trouble hmm, without political backing. From this point, Guaido can be quickly arrested by Venezuelan courts laws. 
which goes the same for every member or for every single politician who was who formed the fictional assembly headed by Juan Guaidó. Hmm? I mean, but if Guaidó is it's arrested, Donald Trump could still make could still make decisions against Venezuela. He could see more economic we could see more economic sanctions or even um, a military provocation against Venezuela. Um, I have talked in other videos about the Lima Group, which was explicitly designed to support the Venezuelan opposition. What will be, what will the um, Lima Group become now that the Chavistas have the majority in Venezuela's assembly? Hmm? Something that to look forward to see what will happen of it. Donald Trump sends a direct message to President Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro. The U.S. government has stated that they do not recognize the assembly as it was anti-democratic. We have heard these reasons from the U.S. before. Unless the candidate who wins the election is pro-U.S. policies and politics, the polls will not be recognized. Hmm? Let's talk about January 6th. Juan Guaidó could be arrested on January 6th. This will scare away many of the opposition's leaders, especially Lima, Lima Group members. What if one, what if Trump, uh, what if um, Maduro decides to to ask for for these politicians to be arrested? Hmm? That's something that they could fear. January 7th begins at the request, okay, this will happen at request of senior pol political officials in the United States media and as well as ultra rights in the United States. On this day, January 7th, wild marches and protests begins. This will cause confrontations with the state police and the National Guard. This could cause a curfew and force Donald, Mr. Donald Trump to remain president. These marches will last January 7th, 8th, 9th, and, possi and possibly beyond. An important note hmm, here, Biden said on January 1st that Donald Trump is not allowing the, the transfer of the new presidency. This is complicated because on one political side, there is a talk of fraud. On the other, there is an obvious coup. Another essential news is, the, is a meeting that happened in the capital of Jordan, Amman. Hmm? They have asked all, they have asked for all economic sanctions to be lifted against Syria. Hmm? These are people faced with suffering for the last eight years. Via tweet, the U.S. ambassador blamed the Syrian government for the hell lived in Syria by the Syrian citizens. He also announced more economic sanctions against Syria because um, Syria military is winning the war and many bases once occupied by the U.S. have been, are now empty. Okay, my friends. This is a sort of like a small summary of what is to happen. I'm going to be making videos on, on exactly these topics. So look forward to them. I will be explaining it more. And like I said, like I always say, help someone in your community as you might be the only one who does. Ciao, ciao for now.